Hello everybody, this is Spartanato. Welcome to another episode of The Walking Dead Road to Survival. What the fuck is this? Brand new tutor, Maggie. Another war promo and I'm really looking forward to see her stats to see what the fuck does she have to offer. So the first thing I see is she's a human shield counter. Why? Because she gives focus. Her stats are superb, 904 attack, 916 defense, and 1022 HP. That sums it up around 2.84, something like that, 2842. That's, in my opinion, wow, huge. Adrenaline Rush, 45 AR. Deal 375% damage to a line of enemies and all teammates get focused for two turns. That's also badass. But her leader skill is kind of shitty. So all ranged teammates get a very large bonus to AP when attacking. That's fucking amazing. But get a large XP bonus from war battles? Really? So what will they get? Like 5 experience? 6, exp six XP or some shit like that? You gotta do like... God knows how many of these war battles. To be able to level up a single character, not to mention level up oh god, like this is too much. I, I don't think I don't think this is gonna work scopely because minus the opinion, she's not world she's not worth it, you know? You don't use a war leader, somebody who just gives you very large AP bonus without that attack bonus or defense bonus or HP bonus or any any similar bonus, you know. Being a war leader doesn't just put you up as a great, like, very large bonus to AP. That's just not enough. It's not gonna cut it. Because you're missing so much. You're gonna slack attack, you're gonna lack defense, and most of the time, you're gonna be weaker than you usually are. So, in my opinion, she's not a great war team. She's not a great war leader, and even though she gives this bonus HP, I wouldn't go for it. Her weapon is not bad. Not bad at all. 20% attack. Okay, you can level up that shit like 30 and plus. Minor bonus to AP when attacking. If you put a very large, that's also going to be huge. Defense down when attacking, a better chance to cause minus 30% defense for three turns to one enemy. Okay, that's not bad at all. Seriously, not bad at all. It's not a stun gun, but it's not bad at all. So, you know, you don't have to work a lot on this weapon to improve it significantly. It's all your choice, so you get to choose whether which weapon do you go for and which special stat do you go for. In my opinion, I'm not surprised. I'm not. I'm not. I can't say like, "Yo, she's a human shield counter." I mean, no, she she's not. You know, she gives focus. Yeah, that's right. But come on, she she she's squishy. She will die easily. She doesn't have any bonuses to defense or whatever. So, if you use her as a war leader, and if you use her as a raid leader, you know she's still squishy. That Andrea kills her instantly. There's no focus. She dies. If you put place her behind a shield. Just use like line attack. She 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 she's dead. She's not that. She's not that strong. She doesn't survive long enough to pop that focus. Even though she's 45 AR, if she gets focus, she dies instantly. So she's not really something that could counter human shields. She, you know, you're you're still missing that attack. So that's my honest opinion, guys. If you think she's worth pulling for, go for it. But I wouldn't do it. My opinion. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. This was Spartanato. Check out my other videos, and especially the one that I posted last night about free-to-play victory because that was a huge one for me, guys. I, I, did, I did something that I didn't expect to. I won in a level-up tournament third prize, and I feel pretty good about it. Pretty confident that I can still do it. Why? Because I showed some people how much, I wor how much I'm worth and what I can do. And... I'm glad that these people doubted me because, well, they won't anymore. That's it, guys. Spartan out. See you guys in the video. Enjoy the war.